My personality is to discover and adventure, do adventure. So I choose this school. I think I feel quite lucky to be here because I think the leadership here, uh, they not only have um, a very high vision, great vision, have passion, uh, and also they have um, great skills, I mean. I think the opportunities they have to be active in their own learning are amazing here. In here, you can study, you know, about the academic part. Also, you have a lot of fun. And they're good at tests, but also understand that education is more than just exam-oriented uh, learning. We are kind of hybrid. We are teaching Chinese students, so we cannot use American style only. So we have to collect these two systems together. I think before our kids to get into the vast world, they should be the Chinese first, the real Chinese. This environment allows them to experience a little bit of America before they actually get there. Actually, I like this school because, well, my parents said there will be a, a better choice for us to study abroad. Our teachers are all very experienced and they have teach you like many years in the same type of school in the U.S. or China. We let them come down here and once again, get, get outside the, uh, at, at least the Gaokao system. And we prepare them for AP and things like that. Prepare them for the American university system. And now this is a new era as we enter the 21st century at Beijing you know, for High School International Campus. Uh, is a new stage. Uh, it bringing some of the prestige of, of the main campus, but also having the uh, the dream of going overseas uh, well, to one day return back to China to contribute. I can actually meet the kids where they're at and all of my students are doing different things in different ways and but that meets their individual needs and gets them where they need to be. It's fun here and because this, this school is really new so it's a new experience for me and for everyone. We are part of Nampo High School, and without the, the this 100 years history with the uh, reputation and the internationally. Well, we are Beijing Number Four High School. We're just the evolution of Beijing Number Four High School. Uh, Beijing Number Four High School has history that uh, reaches back into the Imperial China era. Well, I think it's a great advantage because Beijing Number Four is obviously very well known and has a marvelous reputation uh, for what it does to prepare students and they obviously go to the best schools here in China and the best schools in the United States and around the world. We are very unique. We borrow some uh, and the modern and uh, western style management and uh, governance system. You can see just from um, a certification or paper but mo the more important part is behind those type of things. Yeah, I think it's their personality, their dedication to students and education, and also their vision and idea about education. Our school is such a unique environment in China. My students have the opportunity in one class period to analyze a piece of writing, to think about it, to fit it into their own reality and to make sense of it in their own way. We are a team of uh, quite good teachers and uh, all these factors, when it, when it comes together, they create a very good environment for learning. Well, I think 
Chinese culture, our our culture, our own culture, will help them a lot. There are so many heroes in our culture. We're gonna try to have some fun, and yet get the work get the work done. Make it interesting. I like the traditional Chinese teaching methodology. I prefer teachers and uh, student centered. I think that they could participate more and they enjoy more. The, the most important thing is to the teachers in, in B number four. The most important thing is we have very good teachers. They love they love their work. They are very happy to face every kind of student to be here. But if you have a strong curriculum, a high curriculum that requires them to think and to learn and to grow, I think that maybe does two things. It helps them prepare for life and it helps them prepare for tests. On the holistic approach we are using like, uh, we are using bilingual method to teach. We are using traditional Chinese methods to teach and we are also using uh, Common Core. I find as a teacher the ability to, ve to develop my own curriculum to meet the kids' needs is a wonderful thing that you can't do in a public school. We should help them to know, know who they are, to find their selves and to know what kind of person they want to be. It's not like so much homework by teachers, but we, might, we must find more information outside of the book. Volunteer uh, to help the others. You know, we advocate, uh, we should uh, serve the people, serve their society, uh, so they can practice in high school. And when they ask me sometimes in literature if there's a right answer, I'll say no. <laughs> if you can support it with the text, it can be a valid answer. And that literature often brings up more questions than it answers. Uh, learning doesn't only happen though in the classroom. I think the types of clubs that we have to offer are one advantage. I, I supervise the writing club. And I took the girls to see a book reading, and after the book reading, they met the author, had their book signed, and now they're going to do an email interview with her. <laughs> they set a very good atmosphere and teamwork in this school, and I think this is the most important part. You will learn many things here, and it will be a very exciting ex uh, experience here. The students here are more uh, outgoing and it's they are more friendly <laughs> I would like to go to the U.S. to, uh, to take college and then I know the international campus is a good platform for me to have this chance to like learn in, the, in a national way. And I believe the Chinese culture background will be their advantage when they study in America. I took the oath in front of you all today. I was honored to be sworn in on a day that our country is set aside to honor a different leader, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. In the winter camp, we go to the U.S. and we like have a month there. So I host in an American student's house.
The students we want are hungry students. Students that really have an appetite to learn, uh, that have self-motivation, uh, that have an innate uh, creativity, uh, that uh, are passionate. And I know that in the American universities, uh, we have to depend on ourselves. As an English teacher, uh, I'm looking for a student who's, who's willing to step outside those boundaries. I'm learning about um, a lot of advanced math and physics. And I felt like I learned so much, not only about academic stuff, but also about how to get along with my students, how to be a better person here. Because they are critical thinkers, they're curious, they want to participate and be active in their own learning. They have a very sharp intellect, they're self-motivated. I think all those traits would be a good fit for our school. So we need best of the best. We need some students who have a clear goal, who have a clear vision that what they are going to do after three years. We want to get some students first, they have really good academic background and good language training. So I want my students to be confident, independent and open, willing to learn and like to communicate. Well, if I had my wish, they would love the, the challenge of learning. They, their minds would be seeking to know more and to understand more and to be more.